Hey, it's your brother Bolo VNR 2.0. You know, I'm on the backup channel. Uh, we're here to get it monetized. So I ask, I plead, I beg you to like the video. First thing coming through the door, show some respect. Wipe your feet. All right? Like the video. Show your brother some love. And of course, um, share, subscribe if you're not yet a subscriber. Um, and follow me on Instagram. My WhatsApp number is right there down below. Um, WhatsApp only. You can call me on WhatsApp only. And uh, reach out to me. You can email me. All that good stuff. Right? All that good stuff. All right? Uh, I came across this video um, from Damien Crawford. This was in May, I believe, months ago. However, it's the first time I'm seeing it. So I decided I want to react to the stuff that he was saying. Because I didn't watch the entire video, but I watched most of it, and he was making some very, very interesting arguments. And of course, um, I want to share that with you guys. All right. So again, please remember, if you want to support the channel, like, share, subscribe, comment respectfully, and if you want to donate, the donation link is always pinned in the comment section, or. You can go to my channel, go directly to my channel, view the channel, and you will see all the links available there that you will need to, um, you know, support this channel right here. All right, let me see. There we go. Anonymous link, WhatsApp community, PayPal direct link, both of my other channels, the Zelle, and of course my email address is right there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, and if you send me anything on the Zelle, please either email me or link me on WhatsApp with the receipt. Thank you kindly, a copy of the receipt, screenshot it. All right, so that's how you support the channel monetarily. Just had to let you know. So let's get into the content, man. Came across this video from Damien Crawford. It is, it is a long one. Uh, so I, I will not be wasting any time. I can tell you that right now. We're going to get right into it. We got, oh my God. We got Miss Genesis in the building. <laughs> Shout out to Miss Genesis. Canada, give me my thoughts. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Appreciate you coming through. I know, you know what I'm saying? I know, you know I know. You know, you made it clear in, on your videos, so I know. So, you know you've been in my prayers, sister. You know what I'm saying? And you know I got mad love for you. Thank you for being here, however long you are. Um, everybody, please, that is that is my super, super, super mod right there. Trust and believe that. I demodded all of my channels, so, you know. But she really taught me a lot um, just by her actions and just watching her, you know, how she approached having her own channel, which she said she would never have. But I want everybody to go sub up there. Drop your link. Drop your link in the chat. I need everybody to go sub up to my sister. All right, Miss Chrissy Hutchinson. You got you. You a mod. You know what to do. Drop her link in the chat. Y'all go sub up to Miss. Ja all of my new subs. All of my new subs. All of my Jamaican people. She's a Jamaican sister. All right. She got a beautiful platform over there. A great community. Y'all go check her out. Trust me. Wonderful sister. Wonderful. All right. And she really loves us as a people and she believes in us as a people that we could be great and we could be wonderful you know what i'm saying we could be of excellent standards in how we approach everything in our lives as a nation all right which means moving in transparency and all of that but i digress shout out to miss genesis <laughs> Okay. 
coming out of the phone. Good afternoon. I'm coming from the phone. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I didn't say good evening, maybe even say good night. And the other day, as I say, I was in the Senate and I had to tell the Labour Rights to put some respect on Comrade Bundy's name. And as some people say, you see, if you fight each other, you only have 24 hours in there. If you take four hours to fight each other, you only have 20 hours to fight the enemy. Message. Message. For those of this, for my day ones, my day ones. For you that come across this video, that is a message I need y'all to hear. To listen to this. To put some respect on Colbert Bunting's name. And as some people say, you see, if you fight each other, you only have 24 hours in there. If you take four hours to fight each other, you only have 20 hours to fight the enemy. If you fight each other, remember, there's only 24 hours in a day. So if you take four hours out of your day to fight each other, and you got all those other stuff you need to do. Like, what are you doing? Why are you fighting each other? Message. They were right. Put some respect on Colbert Bunting's name. And as some people say, you see, if you fight each other, you only have 24 hours in there. If you take four hours to fight each other, you only have 20 hours to fight the enemy. So therefore, every hour when we have, I don't really want to waste it. I want to fight the enemy. And Colbert Bunting's not. I don't want to waste my 24 hours. I, I'm going to fight the enemy. That's bars. Miss Genesis is funny. <laughs> Miss Genesis a happy uh Bolo 2.0 chat. Happy Sunday, everyone. Came by to show support. I am in the win. One love everybody. Love the look and direction, bro. Respect. Uh Jamaica uh ish. You got mods again. <laughs> love you, Miss Genesis. <laughs> Not the enemy. So I told them to put some respect on his name because, as he has highlighted, in his tenure as Minister of Security, he performed better in every year than their best year. But they're selling this narrative like they are the only ones against crime. And somehow we are for crime. Somebody said, let us look upon the reality, let's look upon the history, let's look upon the evidence. You see, I like maths because from a band, one plus one are two. Until my dead, one plus one will be two. But me, I'm pretty history because history has changed of itself every now and again. First time I'm going to history class, I'm saying Columbus discovered Jamaica, then me years I was there before him, I'm confused. There's a lot of changing of history going on. There's a lot of changing in the wrong directions in the world globally that's going on. Y'all need to pay attention. I mean, he joking around a little bit, but just think about it. History a reignite itself, a rewrite itself. So I said, let us look at which party based upon history is for crime and criminals. Because this cabinet, the Jamaica Labour Party cabinet, except for Bruce Golden, is the same cabinet that risked it all for us. Exactly. This cabinet, the Jamaica Labour Party cabinet, is the same cabinet that sold the nation down the river for a man who admitted in himself that he was a criminal. Where's the lie? Where is the lie? Let's keep it a buck. Hey, I don't care if you say green or you say orange. Are you are you are you independent? He ain't lying. He is not lying. Right. Let us look at which party is for crime and criminality. Amen. No one in this party had a letter from a deputy commissioner to say that they are the biggest criminal element in the country. In the country. And none of us have been accused of rescuing a criminal exactly. from the police and the arms of arrest. No one in the BFP. They then try to change history and say we are politicizing crime. Now let me tell you something. If it has to do with policy implementation or policy development, it is a political issue. So crime is a political issue. Politicization is a different thing. It is seeking political advantage from the issue. That's politicization. But having an opinion is necessary if it's policy because politics creates policy. Man, I gotta play that back. Yo, if y'all missed that, listen to that again. Boy, yo, this dude know how to put his arguments together. Listen to this. Our policy development, it is... Listen. ...have been accused of rescuing a criminal. Exactly. ...from the police and the arms of arrest. No one is being... They then try to change history and say we are politicizing crime. Now let me tell you something. If it have to do with policy implementation, our policy development, it is a political issue. Yeah, exactly. Policy.
policy development or policy implementation is a political issue. You see? So crime is a political issue. So crime is a political issue because policy implementation and development affects whether crime goes down or up. Listen. Politicization is a different thing. It is seeking political advantage from the issue. That's politicization. Yes, he's absolutely right. If you're trying to seek a political advantage of the issue, then that's politicization. And that part would be a no -no. But having an opinion is necessary if it's policy, because politics creates policy. The opinion is necessary because you might see things there that need to be changed again, the criticism. It is necessary for change. So crime is a political issue. It is an issue that the PMP said, I will handle it this way. Do remember to hit the like button, good people. Do remember. And the JP said, I will handle it that way. And the people said, we choose A, B, or O vote. So the biggest politicization seeking political advantage from crime came when Andrew Holness went on stage and said, if you vote for the PMP, basically you will be murdered. What? What? Yeah. Can somebody give me a reference to that video when the when the Prime Minister, Mr. Andrew Onis, allegedly said that? If you vote for PMP, what? Advantage for crime came when Andrew Onis went on stage and said, if you vote for the PMP, basically you will be murdered. If you vote for the PMP, you will be unalive? Oh, damn, he said that? And if you vote for the JLP, you will be safe. And if you vote for the, wow, wow, wow. Hey, boy, ain't no fucking way, boy. Boy, wow. ain't no way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Are you kidding me? Boy, ain't no way, boy. <laughs> Boy ain't no way, boy. Nah. Boy ain't no way, boy. Nah. Boy ain't no fucking way, boy. Ain't no way he went on stage and uttered that out of his mouth. Are you serious? And Jamaican people swallow that? Y'all didn't see the red flags? I I didn't hear it personally, so this is new to me. When I first listened to the video, but listen to I this I listened to it. But then, you know, you listen to something one time, you don't remember everything you heard. But, damn. Damn. To say that I don't agree with their approach is not politicization. Mm -hmm. That's a political conversation no. based on an ideological differentiation. Right. Yeah. But he said. So basically, we have different approaches in doing this. But for you to say equivocally and definitively that if you vote for them, then this is going to happen for sure, for sure. Because they are somewhat, uh, you know, advocates of crime. That's wild. That's wild. That your windows will be open if you vote that seeking advantage. Bingo, I remember that part. I remember hearing a clip of that when he said, if you vote for us, you know, you can, you know, yeah. Don't quote me, but it's kind of like, yeah, you, you know, you'd be able to, to sleep with your windows open again like one time back in the day. You know what I'm saying? He, he did say that. I remember that. He said, you will be killed. That's seeking advantage. Yeah. Wow. That's politicization. Yeah. But it's because they have sought to keep us so uneducated, they think we're all uninformed. Yeah. But from we don't have I tell them. Yeah. I am a warrior. Yeah. A justice warrior, we have win knowledge, we go a college. Right, so when they come with these things, they can't show it for me. So I go to the Senate and I said to them, all right, make a case for the state of emergency. Yeah. 
And the problem is, you know, most Jamaicans don't think they deserve better. So they take whatever they get. That's a big problem in Jamaica. Ladies and gentlemen, you, man. Like, it's tough to see that you really don't love yourself. When I hear a, 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 a JLP diehearted supporter say, they'll die for hunger for the for their party like what what part of the political game is this where you're actually willing to die for hunger that is Ooh! like what come on man that's crazy bro so when we look even when the school come to it, the schools now will exist. The school pop them and, and not provide nothing, but you not think you deserve nothing. Say that's one for the school. The clinic pop them and not provide nothing, but you not think you deserve nothing. Say that's one for the clinic. Jamaican people, you accept way too much tardiness from our government. I don't care who's in power. You just accept way too much. You cannot continue like this. The man is absolutely right. Ah, uh -uh, we are demonstrate for his role. Road is the least used social infrastructure by the poor. You know? We're not think of these things, you know. Wow, so I never thought about that. Road is the least used infrastructure for the poor. Most of us don't own a car. Like, for real, for real. Most people don't own a car. Most people use taxi, Uber, you call it in America. Most people in Jamaica do not own a vehicle. A lot of people do, but most people don't. All right, most people do not. And the rich not really, they start premium from where they because they must say me fight the system. I this house don't need painting, you know? this house need demolition and reconstruction. Ooh, I agree. <laughs> I agree with that. The system of government. And just the system overall of rulership, everything needs that it needs to be demolished and rebuilt. That is a fact. I agree with that. The constitution moving away from the monarch of the queen or the king, the privy, all that. We need freedom. We need man, listen. Man, I agree. So therefore, I am uncomfortable and I'm going to make those who are comfortable uncomfortable until I become comfortable. Jamaican people, you heard that? You're uncomfortable. So you need to make those that are comfortable uncomfortable until they make you comfortable because you put them in power. <laughs> I'm telling you that there's social infrastructure, things that government provide, like road and schools and hospitals. The rich can afford school, government school. Big facts. So if our education system in Jamaica is not on par, it's the poor people that suffer the most because people that have money can send their kids to private school where they get better education which give their kids an advantage so the rich stay richer be our bosses and we stay in the workforce are you getting it now i hope that hit you the one that's looking at the screen right now watching this replay i hope that hit you or if you're watching the live stream rewind the tape you heard me rmp for private school yeah. the rich can avoid hospital <laughs> Bro, the public health care system. The rich ain't bothered about that. It's us, the poor people. Because we don't got the money to go be paying for no private doctor. Listen, man, I had a friend of mine. Um man, she's right up there in my top goddamn five, top ten. Of people in this world that I love, adore, and respect in real life, though, right? That I've known for years. And she had a situation medically. And if she did not have the type of insurance she had from her job, she could not afford. As a matter of fact, they would, they don't have it 
available in the public health care system. You hear me? <laughs> and Jamaicans, that type of uh, situation that she was in, most Jamaicans can't even find the money, period. So Jamaicans, a word of advice, and I'm talking to myself right now. Let's take in better. Let's start taking better care of ourselves. Ease off junk food. Eat more vegetables and fruits. Drink a lot of water and exercise. We cannot afford to go to the doctor, ladies and gentlemen. Sassy eighty one, how you doing, love? Salute. <laughs> I would have to it out because at the end of the day, one hour bridging dead, I come from farming. That was rather right right yeah. But if you're really, really sick, never seek best health care, we don't lick out for a man to seek the best health care that exists. Yeah, we're not, you know, we're not saying you shouldn't seek the best health care. We're saying there's a lot of people that can't afford the best health care. So we need to make sure that the local hospitals are at a certain level to competence. So as to keep our people around and not have them, you know, losing their life over minuscule things like a friend of mine that died years ago, um, he had internal bleeding and at the hospital that he went, which I would not name, he actually want, needed a machine to, you know, pump out the blood or whatever. It wasn't working. His people had the money to send him to another hospital that had it but by the time he was halfway there he died and this this has been happening the healthcare system has been tardy in Jamaica it's been happening all right but again Mr. Mark Bowden um the previous video that I reacted to I heard what you said about healthcare and I'm holding you and everyone in the PMP to your word of addressing the very, very important issue of healthcare in our public health care system. Let's continue. But don't go and state that healthcare is great when you are seeking better healthcare. That means you're a liar. How are you not going into public hospitals, but you profess that the healthcare system is, public healthcare system is amazing? Stop the cap. <laughs> No bullshit, bro. But the rich can avoid public hospital. But the rich cannot avoid public road. So that is why all through our years, government keep on building road, building road, building road, improving road and not improving schools. I never thought about that. Because I know of recent times a lot more people have gotten access to like, you know, you can own a car easier, right? But back in the day, like 15, 18 years ago, only a few people had vehicles, which was the wealthier people, obviously. So roads are always a priority because it affected them. I didn't, well, I didn't think about that. That's crazy. Unimproving roads and unimproving hospitals. And when you look at the roads, they improve. It's the main road, the off road, or you use, don't improve. <laughs> But show me have a van, me will take six trip a day, you have a work and come back, take two. And I'm here alone, I'm here alone, I'm here alone, I'm here just meditate, man. The only thing we get for the road is work. One week and two week work. No, I'm here burning out road, no. But me I say, why is it that is the only road? What about all the other things? What about the things where benefit we? What about water? Mm. So anything where the wealthy cannot escape, they demand. And that's why I tell them you to them don't vote. If you cannot escape government, choose government. Yeah. If you cannot escape public hospital, you choose who manage public hospital. Yeah. Yeah. Because for some reason, Cornwall Regional is still in office. Yes. And they're going to say this is not a GLP problem. It is whoever is in government problem. Yeah. When PMP is in government, it is a PMP problem. Bingo! This is a very important point of this video, of the point that he just made. Whoever is in government, whatever problem is there, it is your problem to fix. When you are campaigning, 
and telling us you're going to give us change, you do realize that's part of one of the things that needed changing, right? So if you're not changing it and it's still running in the same way or in a deteriorated state than you previously got it, who the hell do you think we're going to blame? You, Mr. Prime Minister. You, Mr. Andrew Holness, and your government. And he rightly said, if the PMP should win, it's going to become their problem. It's called accountability. There's a saying, with great power comes great responsibility. And if you're going to be responsible, you got to be held accountable. And when JLP is in government, it is a JLP problem. But that is not being handled. So when I hear the man come to parliament and say they want a state of emergency, I said, give me a reason why the rights of the people should be trampled. Explain to me what have you gained in 12 months when you had the state of emergency. So I can predict for myself how much more months you need. They said 56 gangs is in St. James, 56 gangs. I said, in 12 months, how much are the 56 you catch? How much you dismantle? So that we can say if you dismantle one in a year, we need 56 here. He's a max person. This is logical thinking, ladies and gentlemen. This is what you call accountability. So basically, when you when you as the government go into power and you say you're gonna tackle certain things, you say, all right, what have you done in a year? So in a year, we reach this point. That means in two years, we're gonna double that effort and reach that point because it's this and then we're going to double it so it's going to become this it was we reached one inch right this is not one inch well you know what i mean we reached one inch in a year so in two years we're going to reach two inch so that means it's going to take if it's a situation where we need to get to 10 inches in terms of achievement um it's going to be 10 years that, that is logical. That is logical. So, we have the max. Yes, I'm great. They say zero. Now, in the mathematics, you can't divide by zero. Because the result of zero is infinity, which means they need unlimited years. Because I'm getting no gun in 12 months. David Crawford, bro. Nah, bro. He just ethered the entire government. I'm sorry, bro. Damn. You will rest in peace. Yo, come on, man. Come on, man. If you caught zero gangs in a year, it means that it's gonna take you infinity. You're never gonna catch none of them. Damn, son. 365 days. No, I'm gonna go down to hours, but you know, some laborers won't understand what we're discussing. No, that's cold. You, you gotta chill, Damien. We we'll go further and say to them, you said 20 of the greatest violence producers in St. James were not charged. Four months after, have they been charged? The answer is no. No, you detained 12,000 people and you don't get the worst 20. I think the worst 20 was the first 20 that you have detained. Mm. Them things are a politics conversation. These are logics. That if you know he's the 20 worst, then you must have information that make you know he's the 20 worst. You can't just feel that he's the 20 worst. So now that you know, in 12 months, you get one out by 20? Not one. So me look at them and say, you know, when I look in the Bible, because it's a Bible, man, it's a Jesus, man. Let your yea be yea. And let your nay be nay. Because nothing has been proven to me. They have disrespected the nation by not even giving a report on the last 12 months to say this is what we achieved and this is what we did. They are so high and mighty 
Because as Bunting said, they think they have the media. Some of them afraid and some of them dead. So the headlines now don't reflect the facts. I see the JLP buy 240 million dollars with a motor vehicle and the headline said wholeness to change motor vehicle policy. Of course I'm going to change motor vehicle policy because you have one but I'm going to buy two vehicles so therefore you must change it as well. <laughs> I'm alone of two range. <laughs> and there was a big deal that PMP do 60 million. But the headline now if you don't read the full article you don't know. Mm. So when Bunting come and say they're corrupt Bunting they're not just they're corrupt they're thieves. So, oh, oh, me only have 2 million and them have 20 million. That not change nothing. They will take 19. So they only have 1 million and women that are They are very effective in the teasing. So the money available to them is not the money available to the country. So when a guy comes and say, all politicians, if I was Minister of Education, the money would not be stolen. So all politicians are they went in this election and searched everything that I did. Yeah, and when they come to Poland, Julie told me, he, he, he left money at the CDF in my weekend. Yeah. I never have to take money, so I left the money that wasn't spent. They cannot say that because what should be spent is taken. And all of a sudden, no, that is acceptable. All of a sudden, running a government like a mafia is acceptable. All of a sudden, nobody is willing to say that this can't be because I have never seen this before. I've never seen a contractor general make a statement, say a man gave a beach for free. And all of a sudden, an anonymous letter come that the contractor general supposedly raped somebody. That is a mafia style. Yo, this man is dropping so much, so much facts. He's flowing. Like, I don't even want to pause, bro. I don't even want to pause the video. Honestly, like you just need to hear what he's saying. Trust me. Simple logics. I have seen where accused politician said that I disagree with your findings and never comes down the lie of a discussion. I've never seen a man say put up or shut up. I have seen where a man said I feel that it was valid for money. But I never see a man say don't talk or ever lose investor. If a beach is for free, it should be for the people of this nation. Yeah. Yeah. But as soon as a rich man comes, so when I say PMP people, yo, let me tell you something. I am not fighting for the party, you know. I'm fighting through the party. Me, I fight for my country. I'm fighting for the nation that I am comfortable with. And I'm fighting for when my youth come, that his circumstance is easier than mine. What up, baby? <laughs> everything and every single well-thinking jamaican that should be your focus whatever it is that you're contributing to this country if you are a true patriot it's not just about the politicians if you're a true patriot ladies and gentlemen you are going to do everything in your power to make sure that your child that comes into this world when you leave or even before you leave when they come into this world they have better opportunities than you do and if you have a government that is doing anything to derail that, it is your responsibility to do everything within your legal power to get them out of office. Everything. I don't care if they're green. I don't care if they're purple. I don't care if they're orange. You should do everything within your legal power to get them the hell up out of office. Period. It don't matter who charge to me. When a man say who are quarrel, it don't matter who are quarrel to me. I am saying I am uncomfortable with this society. That's why we don't go to Portland and them say, yo, you said things when you're not saying. In the beginning was the word. And the word was God. There can be no change until we acknowledge that there is a problem. So I apologize to you because we know every PMP that depends on me to take this one. I want it, I want y'all to hear that again. That's very that's key right here. There can be no change until we acknowledge that there is a problem. You can't address a problem if you don't acknowledge it. All right? Because if you walk around thinking you smell good, when you stink, you're never going to shower. All right? Period. 
So I apologize to you because I know every PMP that depends on me to take this one. And everyone knows expecting us to take this one. And we're going on it with our greatest effort. But when I hear people say PMP can't win because we lose, let me go back to history. History don't revise itself. 2007. Porsche couldn't lose. And she lost. Who remember that? That's why I never come at about Jamaican first. Me, your father said, I'm Jamaican first. She has to declare first because she's something second. I am Jamaican only. I love that. I'm Jamaican only. Here? Not Jamaican first. Jamaican only. Your father said, I'm Jamaican first. She has to declare first because she's something second. I am Jamaican only. <laughs> So if one man in the race, nobody comes second. It's one country in my race. But Vaz was one of those that was dual citizen. We go by election. We lose. Mir was one of those. We go by election. We lose. We go shiny now. We so afraid that we lose. We don't bother go. I don't remember that. 2007. Then boss and Joe and say, young people time. They say, look at this shiny guy, he's young and bright. And after the first speech, they want to save young, they take off the bright. <laughs> look at that, man. <laughs> That's all being a problem. Because it was young people time. So they say, for young people time, see how young people are. <laughs> and they call for me and say, Rasta, go by Yisura. They call for Dayton and say, go to my center. They call for Raymond and say, go to St. Elizabeth. On the night of election, 41 was in, and his ruler was out. 1,000 behind. How about you not coming yet? Oh God, I got on the HQ and HQ silent, waiting, because they were 90 and 9. Why are you alone with this? How many rocks have come to? 42 to 21. Let me talk. 2016. PMP couldn't lose. Yeah, yeah. 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 I want me to know what I'm saying. Audley Shaw is under pressure. <laughs> you remember? Yeah, yeah. One day, yeah. it's Pete Down. <laughs> you remember the day with me? PJ Patterson, you, John Jr., yeah. Upper Christiana, yeah. KD. I say Audley Shaw is under pressure. Yeah. When I walk the market, I say, everybody will take Peter to the market. I'll call over here. <laughs> Remember. Remember. Now maybe it's no under pressure. Yet. But the results of 2016. JLP stage. Couldn't hold JLP people. They were so sure they were going to lose. And PLP block a road. Talk to me now, man. When I watched the TV the night, one time every seat JLP was leading. Shout out to Delroy Henry in the building. Wagwan, Wagwan, big up, big up. Blessings, blessings, blessings. <laughs> yeah, man. Anybody that is not serving the people have to go. That is it. I don't business if you're yellow, if you're green, you're orange. If you're not serving the people, you gotta go, man. May I want that my tree? How much are we nearly chopped down? <laughs> yo, this, yo, David Crawford low key is a comedian, but if you really listen to what you're talking about, he's very intelligent. He is extremely intelligent. I ain't gonna lie. I don't wake up for days so sure that the PMP was going to win. <laughs> and the reason we don't wake up is because I want the dream done. <laughs> the nightmare is ready. Come the man. So now we're here as a PMP can't win. He's a maximum. Basically, there's no such thing as can't. Alright? Trust me. Because he's bringing up stuff that happened to the PMP that they said they can't lose and they actually lost and he's bringing up stuff about the JLP that said they can't lose and they actually lost and then other people say they can't win you know in the reverse and they actually won so hey 
I don't want by election keep. Mark Wolin on a by election. Somehow we forget that we win. Angela Brownberg on a by election. We forget that we win. A councillor on a by election. We forget that we win. Or a poor premier by election. We forget that we win. Councillor replace Angela Brownberg. Run away. They hey man, it, it, it really means a lot um, to see the you know the new the new um, subscribers and you know um, you guys showing your appreciation for the content, man. Thank you, thank you so much, Delroy. I appreciate that. We won a by election in Saint Mary. We get seventy eight less than we get. We have all our PMPs there. Cause some then and some gonna find and some never ready yet and some never member say election day. She was in my level. Yeah, uh, let's discuss what we are about. We run another one in Spotland. What happened now? We get a thousand more than we get 2016 PMP have not changed. But when you run against a government, you see, I know these things because I have experienced it. They say my eyes have seen not just the glory story. When you run against a government, he goes into an area and says, Well, you know, I'm road, I'll give you road. And on the day, road of it. Him going in a yard with 13 people and say, You pick them hungry, I'll put you on part. He goes on a farm and says, You want fertilizer? You are running against yourself. Because he takes your money and campaign gets you. Now, with that, which contractor going to give you money when government is running against you? Which businessman will fight government? But when real election, no. There is no government. Every man for himself. And every man equal. So the man will give him 100 million this time. He will give him 60 million next time. But now he's speaking politics right here. And that makes a lot of sense. You're in government. So, you know, the people that fund the parties, why would they go against you? So during that time, you know, they could do all of these things and, you know, going, oh, you need the roads? I got you, boom. Because they got all of these sponsorships and all this money coming in, right? But when election comes, those same people that would donate, they want to make sure that they edge their bet. So he's going to explain that. He'll give us 40 million for edging bet. Just in case. So basically, he, he the, the party that's already ruling, he give them like six, 60 million and then give the, the, the opposing party 40 million. Just in case. Just in case. It makes sense. You have an edge. Sometimes you have a pretty girl, you build up your confidence. But you can't have the next girl, so pretty see where they go by because if you get a no. You see, the way how he explains this stuff is so masterful. Because he showed you the political side of it and then he showed you how it would apply in real life. That makes a lot of sense. Like, if you, you know what I'm saying, you go over to that, that you know what I'm saying, she be looking real good. But at the end of the day, you, you might get rejected, so you ain't trying to let Shorty over there. That's your, that's your, you know what I'm saying? Just in case, Shorty. Um, yeah, you in the club, like just in case this don't work out. I got to holla at that Shorty over there, cause I'm confident. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I can get that Shorty, but this one right here might, might do me dirty. That's real, bro. That's real. Same thing in politics. Delroy said, big shout out to Damon Crawford, poor people defending the enemy of truth is blind acceptance. Facts. Mario, don't talk about it. You know what I'm doing all So when we look at these people saying we can't win, it's madness. The JP will always have more money than the PNP. Have always had more money than the PNP. But they have never had more people than the PNP. I've always heard that. Again, I wasn't. I'm not as true politically, but I've always heard that the PMP, in terms of voter numbers, has always outnumbered the JLP when it comes down to money and you know what I'm saying, like run the run the election stuff. They always because it's said in the street that JLP is for the rich and the PMP is for the poor. That's always what I've heard all of my life. All of my life, all of my life. Because when it comes to change, the People's National Party has been the party of change. So when you say, me, don't cry for me, Argentina. Because a winner never lose. You only learn. 
I guess Damien Crawford is a Brazil fan. Said, don't cry for me, Argentina. Because a, a winner never loses. He only learns. That's tough. And I learned some things out of Poland. I learned, first of all, that Donkey was right when he said the world on level. I said, why does a Donkey say the world? Why not cold? Why not dark? Why not good? Why have to be Donkey? Because Donkey is a dunces thing. That's why I don't say, you're a jackass, they don't. If the don't says thing was the world on level, we should know. So I learned to the world on level. Because this lady was able to put out an advertisement against me, saying that me disrespectful, saying that I'm a trickster, saying that I'm selfish. And I can't go on it and say she don't know much parish exists. As soon as me says she knows so exposed to knowledge, everybody quarrel. And the problem is, what? That is funny, honey. <laughs> That's funny. I gotta play that back. Oh my god, that is funny. Shout out to uh, Miss Jefferson. What she said about me in a paid advertisement, <laughs> night after night. <laughs> as soon as me says she knows so exposed to knowledge, <laughs> everybody quarrel. <laughs> Selfish. And I can't go on it and say she don't know much parish exists. Because this lady was able to put out an advertisement against me, saying that me disrespectful, saying that I'm a trickster. Yo, who put out an advertisement on Damien Crawford? Y'all gotta let me know. Hey, Chrissy, yo, who, who did that? Nah, man. Nah, I gotta find out that. Who put out a advertisement, advertisement about Damian Crawford? Let's go to all. Who put out ever letter of the day? Damian Crawford must em, must embrace a new. This was 2017. Interest back to please clean, he would welcome, blah blah blah. Still wants from him, blah blah blah. The first case of Damien Crawford preparing to leave politics. Crawford fires up cameras to the most I really want to know about that story, man. Somebody please let me know, man, in the comment section where I can find that. Oh my god. Say that. I'm selfish. And I can't go on the dance session and how much parish exists. As soon as Lisa Shino so exposed to knowledge, everybody quarrel. So how, how do you, how do you, how are you part of the government and you don't know how many parishes is in Jamaica? <laughs> how are you a part of the political space but you don't have that knowledge? Come on. It's crazy. <laughs> Problem is what she said about me in a paid advertisement night after night, seven times in the news was not true. What I said about her was the total opposite of not true. That is what? funny, honey. That is funny. No, <laughs> That's legit. funny. That's legit funny. Oh my god, what? that is funny. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you said we were in the level because everybody jumped to her. Yeah. Protection. Yeah. She could kick me in the face, but I can't touch her upon the shoulder. Yeah, us men really got it tough, bro. It is what it is. It's always gonna be the reality. A girl can slap you in the back of the head and then if you slap her in the back of the head, she might go unconscious. But then everybody's gonna say, so why did you slap her in the back of the head? You're so mean, you're so this, you're so that. You know you shouldn't hit women. Nobody taught her she shouldn't hit men. And I'm not saying hit women, I'm just saying, hey, that makes sense, that's crazy. I'm sorry, that is truly, that is insanity. There's a thing in the Bible called do unto others as you'd like them to do unto you. And shout out to KB's brother Scrooge that said we need to get back to common, decent respect. 
few. Which politician would not use the other politician, their opponent, not knowing what parish in a nation? Which That's true. Politician. If I was a politician, if I was in a debate and we talking about knowledge of Jamaica and you don't have the knowledge of how much parishes is in the country, uh, you're going to get roasted. I'm sorry. Ain't no way. Sorry, man. Had I said it, she would rightly use it. But no. So let me show you the word of them. At the same time, the whole of Jamaica was saying right in King Nana sense and nobody jumped to his protection. Yeah. Mm. But all of a sudden, the truth is an offense. For some people. Yeah. I know. The truth is an offense for some people for real. To the point where on this app right here, I started to shut my, my mouth about certain things that I would normally, uh, you know, give my opinion on. Oh, the JNP has started a campaign against education. Where they said, beautiful speaking. speaking. <laughs> And more recently, a man that I read as the principal of a university is coming to say that education that is overrated. Education is overrated? Who the hell said that? Somebody from the education, somebody that works in the educational field said that? It is a lie from the bottom of the pit of it. Because beautiful looking cannot put fool at you. Oh, ladies, I need you to come closer to the class. Isn't that what all YouTubers say? Not all, but some of them. Students, come closer to the class. Shout out to Jamaica Hot Topic. Most loud people, even um, part of y'all TV, be saying that. Students, come closer to the class. I need y'all to listen to this part, ladies, especially my ladies. Come on, man. Let's go. I am from the bottom of the pit of it. Because beautiful looking cannot put food on your table. Your beauty cannot put food on your table, ladies and gentlemen. It's not sustainable. Yeah, all of us got a few good years, especially ladies. You got a few good years, you know, things start. And I'm talking about your outer look, right? You know, things start sagging. You know, even if you go do BBLs, I'm telling you, uh, they're, they're still going to drop. As a matter of fact, they're going to drop even more. Because now you've put more weight there. So gravity says, come here. Pulls down your breasts and your booty. You're not going to win Mother Nature or Father Nature. You're just not. You're going to lose every single time. All right? Accept it and move on. Understand that your inner beauty, your substance, especially everybody for, for, for that matter, men, and in this case, mostly for the women, your inner beauty, the inner substance, your morals, you know how good of a mother you are not just to your kids but to everybody like those tangible things last a lifetime the beauty that you have inside is what flows out a man can be with you for years but because of who you are on the inside all he sees is that girl he was with from the church from the first time he met you that image will never come out of his head because you ain't never changed. You just run blossom into something even more beautiful on the inside. All right, think about that. It might have put short-term food because some of our girls know we have make some people take advantage of them because their breast is up and their bottom is out. Understand by biological design, there will be a day that your breast is down. That the little girls who are here making fun, man, come and take advantage of them to do things that their wives will not even think of doing. 
give them a 10 grand and send them home telling them that they are winning they will lose and the men that take advantage of you know you know uh girls you know or women whether they're older or younger especially if they're younger and, and man listen if you don't have it to genuinely you know help that person do not take advantage of them man just it's just it's just horrible man that that type of mentality is is really the, your i mean your humanity is questionable like you know what a real man would do a real man if he can help he helps but if you know for a fact the only reason why this this girl or this woman and i'm talking about over over the age obviously the only reason why because you're not you're definitely not talking about it hey tammy how you doing love i hope you're doing great sweetheart you know what i'm saying shout out to tammy in the building um but yeah you know if she is not genuinely attracted to you it's a transactional thing she she's just doing this to to, to feed her babies man listen there's two things i would recommend you do help her out give her an opportunity to work and better herself um and the temporary thing you can do is say you know what let's put your clothes on don't need to do none of that i know this can only help for a short period of time but here's something right don't 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 take advantage of her she's just trying to you know take care of her children now there are some that do it for just only fans vibes and you know what I'm saying they're just being a thought hey I'm, I'm not really speaking on that I'm talking about you know that this girl would not be doing this if she her back wasn't against the wall come on man you gotta do better as men bro that ain't it bro that is not it you invite me to that guy to engage let me do engage I'm trying to be married now too much engage married now we are talking about empower. Yes, yes, that freedom is based on choice. Yes. If a girl wants to do her X-rated things by choice, it is not my place to tell her not to eat. But if she has to do it to eat, to pay rent, to buy clothes, then there is no choice. She's a slave. And that is an indictment on the government. That is an indictment on the system when she feels like that she has to do that to survive she's a slave facts i agree a hundred percent understand what i'm saying so when she comes and even though her stomach can't bear what she's been asked to do her stomach can worse not bear the worms of hunger i i, I am I could never engage sexually with a woman and just feel an energy from her like she can't wait for me to just get over with it. Huh? Man, if she don't genuinely, if a woman is not genuinely attracted to me, bro, I don't want to have, I don't want to have any engagement with them sexually at all. It's got to be authentic. It has to be for me. So I'm like, yo, what? You know those types of situations like man <laughs> and you can feel that shit you know that she don't she's not attracted to you you know it's so that's weird bro that's weird <laughs> well no see some people where had they been broke them couldn't get no relationship because they don't look attractive. Yeah. But because they have money now, them ugly. <laughs> and because we worship money. Because that is the problem now in Jamaica. Yeah. The poor is celebrating what we don't have. The rich cause everything we don't have. You know? I run against a rich lady who said education is not important because she had little. Had she had a lot, it is important. 
If you come in 19, come to the number and say, we don't feel like ballet, I'm a rasta. That don't make no sense. Yo, I gotta play that back. The re <laughs> and because we worship money. Because that is the problem now in Jamaica. Hey, Tammy, I was not always this way. I just learned. I just, through life experiences, mistakes that I've made, I wasn't always this way. You know what I'm saying? I don't profess to be a perfect person. It's like I said in my live stream that I did earlier, you know, it's just like, you, you, you reach a certain age, you, you already made all the mistakes already, you know, it's, it's really time, you know, my mom always say, you know, our uh, old people always say, you know, when you're a child, you do childish things, and when you grow up to be a man or a woman, you do adult things, you know what I'm saying? You're a child for a small portion of your life. That's why it's important for us to protect our kids and have them maintain their innocence because it's such a small portion of their life. Once you turn 18, you are an adult forever until you pass or transition to the next phase. You know, so... You know what I'm saying? You just you just got to know how to move. Based off those life lessons, you got to pay attention. You know what I'm saying? And learn from your mistakes. The poor is celebrating what we don't have. The rich has everything we don't have. You know? I run against a rich lady who said education is not important because she had little. Nah, education is not important because of what? I mean, what the hell is going on with these people talking about education is not important? Yeah, man, are you serious, bro? You gotta be kidding me. Had she had a lot? It is. I run against a rich lady who said education is not important because she had little. Education is wasn't important because she had little? Because she had a little bit of education, she said that education is not important. What kind of dumb statement is that? Huh? Do she know that everybody learn differently? Do she know that everybody is not as sharp as the other person and can learn on the fly and is more hands on? You know what I'm saying? Like, some people need the institutional learning to function. They really do. What is going? Had she had a lot. It is important. If you're coming like me, come to the. So, if she had a lot of education, it would be important. So. This goes back to one of the things I was saying, I've been saying for a few days now. It's not about you, it's about the collective. This person is thinking selfishly. So because she didn't have as much education, then you know, nobody else needs to have it that much because she turned out okay. What? No one I say, we don't feel like ballet, I'm a rasta. That don't make no sense. No sense whatsoever. How comes that those who have integrity is second to those who have money? Mm. How comes those who have honesty is second to those who have money? How comes those who have integrity is second to those who have money? Hey, I'm talking to everybody right now. The day ones and the newcomers. Message. Why is it that the person with integrity comes second to the person with money? Person with money gets automatic respect. I think all of us have done. But it's wrong. It's wrong. You should judge a man off his character before everything else, above everything else. You judge a man off his character. Not because they coming around and they, you know what I'm saying, they, they throwing money. No. No. That should not be what gain what get what you deem to be the barrier or the or the the platform, you know, the, the totem pole to give them respect. It should not be. 
How comes those who have kindness is second to those who have money? How comes you need nothing in this country again other than money to be someone? Big facts. If you don't got money, a lot of people ain't even looking at you. And that's one of the reasons why I want to continue to pursue gaining wealth, but never telling anybody how wealthy I become. As much as I can. Because I don't want a bunch of fake people around me. Shout out to KB. He can tell you. He can tell you about his experience of, you know, being a 17 year old, 18 year old, 19 year old one day and then get becoming the first round pick and immediately becoming a millionaire. And what that's like and how that transition goes with people around you, family, everything. And to do something. And we are now making it worse by demanding from everyone money. You don't want him to be a bowser kind, bro. Yo, what? Like, you don't want him to be your counselor because he's broke? People actually say that? Man, listen, I want a counselor that works, that has heart, vision, and passion for we the people. Alright? I don't care if you don't have the money. And you see, I have a family member. You know what? I ain't even gonna say that. I ain't gonna say too much. We don't want him to be the MP, kind of. We don't want the Warfoot man. And the Warfoot man would have loved you and adore you and take care of you. And that goes into personal relationships too. Like, just to sidetrack from the political side of things, you know, there's 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 men out there that are good men, but. The mother and woman is like, oh, he's not on my level. And what does he bring to the table? His character is not enough. And I see that. And that's the way I move how I move. Yeah, I, you know, a lot of, a lot of girls will not approach you if they don't think you have, you got that. Mula, baby. Oh, you're a nice guy, pretty much. That's all, yeah. All right. But they, they're not attracted to you until they see that money on you. Trust and believe that. I'm on the road every morning, healthy and well. It's second to a big fat man over heart, so stop. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Because of my money. These are people that are because politics have been incorrectly understood. It is not what I can do for you, it's what I can do to you. It is a transformation of the people. The process of politics must take humans in and put better humans out. No, that is, I've never heard that. I never heard that. Take humans in and put better humans out. Salute to that, Mr. Crawford. Yes, sir. <laughs> must take a citizen in and put an improved citizen out. Mm. So when you tell me about empower, how we have to empower people when they still have primary school on shift? I don't know about them thing. A primary school is on shift. It means that a seven year old is getting herself ready at 11 o'clock. Either that or her mother is unemployed, that is why we call two negatives. Mm. In maths, two negatives, give a positive. In life, two negatives, don't give a positive. Right. And you have a 12 year old, that is going home at 11 or 12. That's cr What? Yo, I never thought about that. Yo. Nah, B. They got to change that, boy. Mm -mm. With nobody to pay attention to her until seven. Surrounded by eyeglass. Yes, that is a, that is a environment for idle environment like that. Mm -mm. Yeah, trouble trouble i see what he's talking about who have no good intent so when i see the little girl near my mackerel yeah. and we take it for a joke yeah. mackerel don't get equal protection like the lady from poland why not why not but mackerel says she got pregnant at 12. Uh, pregnant at 12. No, bro. <laughs> hey boy ain't no fucking way boy 
No. Boy, ain't no way, boy. No. Boy, ain't no way, boy. No. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Boy, ain't no fucking way, boy. No way. You talk to me, no man. Because we have schools and shift. If we have primary schools and shift, explain to me how the government's priorities a new parliament building. One billion dollars for a new parliament building when we have schools and shift. So I not trying to divide the nation between man and woman. They say I was sexist. Me never said not because I thought they say I was sexy. But then me learn say they say I'm sexist. <laughs> me not try to divide between man and woman. Me not try to divide the country between black and white. Me not try to divide the country between rich and poor. I am dividing the country with conscience and no conscience. Don't Message. The man said he's trying to divide the country between conscience and no conscience. That is my mission as well. I challenge your conscience. I put these things together to challenge your mind and the way you think. Even, even, even with, you know, my day once, even with the situations that happen in our sector that we're a part of, that's all I've been doing. That's why I don't call people's names so much because when they listen to it, Something is going to resonate in them and no, wait a minute. Yeah, that applies to me. So it's like, it's like, I'm not attacking you, but I am planting the seed for you to self-reflect and, and, you know, do the right thing. Those who have no conscience over here and those who have conscience over here. And if you have conscience, you could not seek to spend one billion dollars on a parliament building when we have tens and tens of schools primary school and she man talk about it man all of this money on quote unquote infrastructure but you not fixing the hospitals and the schools bro nah man your priorities are messed up mr prime minister and your government priorities are messed up seriously I have to assume, therefore, that it is the amount of kickback that they expect, the amount of fever that they can do. Because I don't know why I'm afraid to talk. But if the JLP have 40 thieves, the leader of the JLP might be Alibaba. <laughs> now, that is not funny, but man, the way how you put that, boy. All lies will be exposed. That's all. And, 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 and anyone who takes that the wrong way, know why they take it the wrong way. Something not right, my wisdom warriors. Something is not right. Something not hmm. right. Tell about them. Something not right, bro. Something not right. Because you can't have what is now. At this point, when he said this, it was six people on the investigation in his government. Now it's eight. And you got a gag order. I'm still like, I can't wrap my mind around that. What does that make you? Just the perception of it all is damaging to your character. But you still steady not removing the gag order and not declaring your assets. Saying it's a process. What is taking so long? <laughs> Three years now having declared your asset, Mr. Prime Minister. Fishy. Very fishy indeed. But all of a sudden you can't talk. You can't say. People are afraid. Oh, the hell them so rich. Where they got 300 million from in Poland. Yeah. So despite my these damn ads. Again. But the people accused were his closest friends. Which one of my friends who know where me stand for? Can come out with some foolishness around me. He might be hired when time you know where me stand for. Big facts. That's why I ride solo dolo. That's why Bolo rocks solo. You heard? Because I can't roll with you and see you going left and then act like I ain't seen you going left and not say nothing. I'm gonna be like, yo, what the f are you doing? You know I don't play like that. I don't, you know what I'm saying? So to avoid 
the, the, the possibility of that even happening, man, listen, I be really rocking so low. You heard? Yeah, and on this uh on this uh YouTube thing, yeah man, hey, so low. I'm responsible for my own actions. Right? Period. Alright? I ain't responsible for nobody else. As a matter of fact, if I don't agree with such actions and movements and direction things are going. I do what I've always done, quietly remove myself from that situation and those things. No, mm -mm. Mm -mm. I don't gotta, I ain't gotta say nothing to nobody. I just disappear, period. Plus, I got a lot going on either way. I really don't have the time right now. I got a lot of things in the pipeline that I'm taking care of and I'm, I'm looking to do, so. My time is being focused elsewhere. Even doing research to even do content. My time is going elsewhere. So yeah, I'm, 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 I'm going to be disappearing for a minute. For a good minute. But we're going like we don't want to. We're going like we don't want to acknowledge that if it is that we have situations now, 161 schools in Jamaica, only 40 have a 50% chance of five subjects. What? 121 have a less than 50% chance. That is not a picnic problem. That's a systematic problem. Thank you. You have to look at the system. That is a reality that we face because everybody we can walk and talk can learn. And that's not, poli that's not politicizing anything. Based off the facts and the evidence, you have come to a conclusion we can and we need to do better period for the betterment of the people of the country it doesn't matter who is in power you gotta call that shit out no no we never ban a talk we learn to talk no no we never ban a walk we learn to walk so how comes our picnic them bright at nine months but done at 19. what well, when i cut to them and say youth those who do more work in school do less work after school and get more pay I like how you put that. I gotta play that back. No, no, we never ban a walk. We learn to walk. So how comes our picnic them bright at nine months but done at 19? Bright at nine months but done at 19. Yeah. What happened between them is the question. And the way he posed it, that's the first question I asked to myself. What happened between nine, nine months and 19. Damn. Oh, when I go to them and say, youth, those who do more work in school, do less work after school and get more pay. And those who do less work in school, do more work after school and get less pay. If you think it's a lie, look on a construction site. The one mixing the cement get two grand. The one pointing where you should carry it. Two mil. Yo. Oh my God. wondering why I'm covering this do you hear the gems that this man is dropping you hear the gems that this man dropping oh that's tough that's tough oh man but the one we appoint is an architect they don't want this message so them start to resist me them start to fight me they start to use some people instead of a news agency, but they an advertisement agency to take one second out of my speech. Because they want somebody to wash their toilet. They want somebody to clean the house. They want somebody to be them security guard. But let me remind you, when you see a security with a dog, the security me am once and the dog me am twice. Yo, he is not lying. I used to be a security guard. Those dogs are well taken care of. I'm talking about grooming, training, feeding, you name it. Well taken care of. Those dogs are expensive.
pen safe. You hear me? They got insurance on them. I'm talking about me. Yeah. He can't afford it. So when we say, when the PMP win back, them have to kick me out if we don't do some more contract work. Yo, he's challenging his own party, you hear? I like this dude. I like this dude. I like this dude. Yo! I like this dude. <laughs> Challenge of keeping people accountable. I like that. I like that. I like we want those with conscience over here and those without conscience over there. That is it. Because a man at work, see him over the dog and he can't live like the dog, man. That is it. Let's go. Two million to two thousand. So I'm telling you, oh yeah, move that, move that truck, lift it up, put it over there. Yeah, you move that uh that, that car right there, y'all yeah, move that uh, ton of ton of ton of ton of steel from there and put it over there. I'm just yeah, delegate. I make two million, you make two thousand. How much youth you know? Eight subject. How much keep? Do what they should do at Manchester High at Belier at Black River. Yes. At sets. And when time comes to go university, even if my dad look and why and say who have a plan. How much you know? So Man, listen. <laughs> I'm one of those youths. You know what I'm saying? I'm one of those youths. Like, for real. I'm one of those youths you talking about. You know, God bless my mom. My mom couldn't afford to send me to college. She just couldn't afford it. You know what I'm saying? But I was that bright to be. When I started to really put my head down and go in my books, man, my sister, my sister even want me to to pay to go to college now just to get get my certification and everything. I was I was supposed to major in architecture, you know what I'm saying? So I was doing engineering and in, 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 at community college. Just a quick story about me. And yeah, the next college I was supposed to go. I had to board, I had to be away from my family, all those expenses my mom simply could not afford. My parents couldn't afford, period. You know what I'm saying? So <clears throat> I was kinda like one of them one of them youths. And I, you know, I did get my stuff, you know what I'm saying? And I ended up having to go to Hart. And I went to Hart to get a job overseas because I was always thinking you know, it's better pay and better opportunity. And I never was able to get a job overseas. Like in Jamaica, it's about who you know and who can pull strings for you. Just off the merit of your own qualifications alone. I'm not saying all the time, but too much of the time, you don't get where you're supposed to go. And I think that's what he's talking about right here. No, we have people qualified for the tractors around taxi. Yeah. Yeah. If you take a tractor around a taxi, that inefficient tractor. We have liars in a car center. We have people should run hotel. A cashier, a, 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 a wholesale. Every black man starts selling supermarket now. What time you used to look up to your own shop in the community? Because they look like you want them better off. No, nobody look like you own shop. But ask on the same people. Why is it that you who can be a doctor should be prevented? Because his mother isn't capable to afford it. And what, what did I just say a while ago? Why should a youth who wants to be a doctor should be prevented from doing so because his parents can't afford it? Message. And we said the next PMP government, the first in the family to get into university will be free. They ridicule us. But the government give up 14 billion to those who have land to sell and land to buy. So they wanted to give the first in the family free access to college education and they ridiculed them? Hey yo, what the fuck? Oh my god, bro. Oh hell no, man. What? Something not right, my wisdom warriors. Something is not right. Hmm. Tell about them. Allegedly. I did not know that. 
What? I'm going to give up 13 million because the children want me bundle from January 2018. Still don't build back all now. And nobody have a problem with that. Nobody have an issue. We save somebody for block in a Port Antonio. They have to drive all the way to St. Anne's Bay to get it fixed. And when they're in the hospital, the family bring food and have to tell If they're in the Port Antonio, they're going to take lunch time and give some food. But to him that we are St. Anne, what should be $500? It's now $2,000. Nothing is wrong. We are concerned about who is in charge and we are not concerned about the circumstance of our people. That part. Forget about who's in charge. What is the people facing? That's what that's the only for bro. That's why you gotta get criticized if you're not doing the right thing. I don't care who is in power, I'm gonna keep saying it because I mean it. If Mark Golden gets power and he comes and fumbles the goddamn leadership, we gonna talk about him too. I don't give a damn. I'm looking at myself. We are fighting for a nation. That's why I say, stand firm. We are fighting for a cause. I can go back to this. We are, you know, have no letters behind the name. What time you get a big work if you have letters behind the name? From a university. No, you only need a letter with your name. From a political activist. Links. Links. He ain't never lie. What did I just say earlier? It's all about links in Jamaica. I'm going like, to remember that there was a lady unqualified that get a job. One Andrew gave her 13 million to come and one Andrew gave her 13 million to leave. Yo, I heard about even a mayor recent that can't even read, can't even write. <laughs> I, will, I don't even need to say what party they're from. Man. Talk about that now. You're bad mind. How can it be bad mind to say what is due to Caesar and what is due to I? Give it unto I. That those around us who put in effort, that put in time, that had ambition, that sit on them yard with degrees and top of degrees, that sitting in work 80 grand a month, are constantly being bypassed for those who support a political party. And then they say everybody's the same. You tell me the example of the same under the People's National Party. You tell me. I learned in Portland finally that when you're a politician, don't be a commentator. A commentator cannot do nothing than comment and talk. A politician should just go advise until he can do. Because when you become powerful enough, then you say this is a problem and this is what I'm doing to fix it. But to just say this is a problem, that is the work of radio people. That's facts. Us, the vloggers and media, we highlight the problem. You, the politician, you got to recognize and fix problems. That is your job. Yeah, man, real people just have no problem. But you wait till you get in a position to solve it. So when I say we have a problem with those who get a blind society and those who don't. I was being a commentator. And I want to teach the commissioner of police the same lesson that I learned. Because all of a sudden it's stylish for everybody because police. The commissioner of all the police forces corrupt. Well, if it corrupt, fix it. What's the benefit? What's the benefit of the Minister of Justice that is the Intel Police things and police are telling people? What's the benefit? What's the benefit of everybody chastising the police? When I say police, I want to say thanks for your service. All police officers that are doing a good job, thank you for your service. I'll be seeing y'all out there and I'm like, man, hey, y'all be safe out there, man. God damn. All of a sudden, police is bad. Police is bad. Two police in an altercation. One good police kill one bad police. And we say the police force bad because of the bad police. Then why the police force not good because of the good police? Yeah, that's true. That's not fair. And the government take it for my practice to chastise the police every chance they get. Everybody in here call the same police when we in pressure. So if them so bad, why call them? Call the guards, man. man. Nobody call. Yo, call the guards, man. Yo. Damien, that is funny, this. honey. <laughs> That's Long funny. Ass. Oh my god, that is funny. And nobody's saying all oh, labor rights are thieves. And cabinet must be disbanded. But one bad police. Mobile reserve should be disbanded. Put in on the same number. Power better police now. Somebody might look in. That's a good point he made. Because if you're not going to throw away the entire JLP because any of them 
it's under investigation so how can you throw away the entire police force but some pastor cook some teacher cook any group of people that you find there will be battles true true but why is the commissioner police joining in a cost police and all he did was to announce because the data part of it is that there's no police qualified enough to the commissioner and when the last state of emergency ended they were so much they never met the checkpoints that's not a state of emergency that can't be a state of emergency that's not a because I'm the anti I'm the anti these things now. Remember, the so-so is just like different names. So if they say, unite for change. Don't let them take away your glory. Because if you don't tell them to pay me, they will treat you like a long man. <laughs> we have to start to claim. So when we talk about there's no safe seat anymore. If there's no safe seat anymore, then we're going after West Kingston. I'm not alone. We are gone. Where are you? Where are you? Because they must say PMP or JP. Mike Henry is older than the world and in the beginning was the world. <laughs> Yo, I'm done, man. Nah, man. Yo, I'm done with this reaction. Yo, this dude is doing way too much. Just that like is work. funny, honey. Yeah, I'm done, man. Yeah, <laughs> That's I'm funny. Right nah. Oh, my God. That is funny. Nah, Damien, you got to chill, bro. You doing too much. The man said... The man is older than the word, and the word was in the beginning. God damn. What? Man, shout out to Damien Crawford, man. <laughs> I enjoyed, I enjoyed this video. I agree with a lot of his points. Um, <laughs> I agree with a lot of his points. Um, I hope that, you know what I'm saying, you guys took something, some substance from this because I heard a lot of gems and I tried to highlight as much of them as I could. Um, yeah, let me know what y'all think in the comment section, man. Um, it's another one, you know what I'm saying? Remember, like, share, subscribe if you're not yet a member, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, welcome to all the new members and welcome, I'm welcoming all the new supporters in advance that will see this video and subscribe. Thank you in advance, all right? That's what I'm talking about.